Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In uh, today's video, we are going to take forward our discussion uh, related to binary numbers. Uh, so far, we have studied about uh, the representation of uh, binary numbers and the various arithmetic operations associated with binary numbers such as binary addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But uh, you would have noticed that all these topics in all of these uh, videos we have confined, we have limited our discussion only to positive integers. What I am trying to say is that we have only use the binary equivalents of positive integers. We have represented let us say plus 10 in binary form, we have represented let us say plus 3 in binary form, we have represented uh, plus 15 in binary form. What I am trying to say is that we have not touched the negative integer part. For example, what is the binary equivalent of minus 10? What is the binary equivalent of minus 3? What is the binary equivalent of minus 15? That is what I am trying to say that we have not touched this part. How to represent negative integers? We have only discussed about positive integers. Okay? Suppose plus 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0, plus 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1, 15 or plus 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1. We have only discussed about these things. Similarly, plus 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0, like that. But what is minus 12? What is the representation, the binary representation of minus 12. We have not touched this part. Okay? We have not touched this part. And that is what this topic is all about. Representation of sign numbers. It means where the sign of the integer or the number, it comes into play. The minus sign plus sign by default it is we know that it's positive we don't mention the plus sign it is by default we understand it is a positive integer but what about the negative integers how can we represent them in binary form so this video will be all about that we'll discuss the various methods which uh, we can use and which are used in uh, uh, digital electronics to represent the negative integers in their equivalent binary form. Okay, so let us uh, uh, get started. Okay, there are basically three ways in which we can represent the negative integers, okay, or sign numbers in the binary number system. And those uh, three methods are the sign magnitude system, the 1s complement system and the 2s complement system. You can use one of the following three methods to represent sign numbers. So before you take up this topic, I would like you to please check out the video related to basic concepts about 1s and 2s complement uh, numbers which I have posted in the channel so that you understand uh, this 1s and 2s complement in a better way, this method of representation of sign numbers or negative integers. Okay? So please check out that video, you will understand this in a better way. Okay. So there are three ways in which we can uh, represent a sign number or a negative integer in binary number system. The sign magnitude system, the 1s complement system and the 2s complement. In this video, we are going to discuss about the number 1, the sign magnitude system 
and we'll discuss about 1s and 2s complement method of representation of sign numbers in separate videos in detail okay so let us discuss about the sign magnitude system okay so let us discuss the sign magnitude system of representation of sign numbers so let us first take a simple number okay let's say 3 means plus 3 plus 3 in uh, binary form in uh, 4 bit form we write it as 0 0 1 1 okay this is the binary representation of plus 3 in this uh, sign magnitude system this extreme left bit this bit this is called as the sign bit this extreme left bit or the MSB bit. If the sign bit is 0, it means that the number or the integer is positive. If the sign bit is 1, then the integer or the number is negative ok so if we want to represent minus 3 ok minus 3 how would we represent it now this is the sign bit the extreme left bit and the remaining bits are the magnitude bits ok they are magnitude bits which remain constant only the sign bit changes so if we want to represent minus 3 ok minus 3 the sign bit will change to 1 the magnitude bit will remain as it is ok this is minus 3 in sine magnitude system so here the sine bit changes the sine bit is 1 means number is negative and the magnitude bit they remain as it is magnitude bits are constant 1 0 1 1 only the sign bit changes see here plus 3 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the magnitude bit the sign bit is 0 so it is plus 3 here 1 0 1 1 the magnitude bits are constant 0 1 1 the sign bit is 1 it means it is minus 3 now <clears throat> one important thing to take care of is that never always think that 1011 is minus 3 if in the question if in the question it has been mentioned that the given number is represented in sign magnitude 4 bit form sign magnitude 4 bit form then this result is valid okay then only this result is val valid but if nothing is mentioned then 1011 is 11 1011 is 11 in normal binary representation 1011 is 11 the decimal number but if in the question it has been mentioned that the given number this 1011 is represented in sign magnitude format using 4 bit system see the total number of bits are 4 if in the question it is mentioned that it is represented in sign magnitude system and in 4 bit uh, format then only this answer is correct but if nothing is mentioned 
then 1011 is 11 this will be correct so you have to pay attention to what is given in the question whether the sign number is represented using sign magnitude whether it is represented using 1s complement whether it is represented using 2s complement so then the results will vary so you have to pay attention to that what format is used how many bits are used those things are critical okay so now let us represent some more numbers using uh, sign magnitude system okay suppose we have to represent plus 12 and minus 12 in sign magnitude system first let us write or represent plus 12 okay and we are using 8 bit format okay 8 bit format because we cannot use 4 bits because the 4 bits will be used up in representing 12 only the magnitude bit so we have to use a 8 bit format we are using 8 bit format so plus 12 can be represented okay first let us write the magnitude bits it is 1 0 1 0 uh, sorry uh, 1 1 0 0 it is 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 is 10 1 1 0 0 these are the four magnitude bits so the number is positive plus 12 so the sign bit the sign bit will be 0 and we have to fill up the remaining three bits as we are using the 8 bit format so we have to fill up these three bits with zeros now this is the sign bit the extreme left bit it is the sign bit and these remaining are the magnitude bits magnitude bits okay 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 is 12 this is the magnitude and here the extreme left bit is 0 okay it is 0 it means the number is positive plus 12 now suppose we have to represent minus 12 minus 12 can be represented as first fill up the magnitude bits okay 1 1 0 0 then the remaining three zeros as we are using 8 bit format 8 bits so the total number of bits in the number the representation will be 8 so we have filled up the magnitude bits the same as the above okay the magnitude bits will be the same they will undergo no change only the sign bit will change from 0 to 1 so here the sign bit will be 1 so as the sign bit is 1 it means that this number is negative the magnitude bits are same the magnitude bits are the same okay only the sign bit it undergoes change okay now suppose we represent let's say plus 25 okay same 8 bit format we'll be using plus 25 first let us write the magnitude bits we are using the same 8 bit format it will be 1 1 0 0 1 18 uh, sorry 16 plus 8 plus 1 okay 16 plus 8 plus 1 is 25 so here it is total 1 2 3 4 5 fill up the remaining two bits okay the total are seven bits now the sign bit the sign bit is 0 we are using 8 bit format okay remember that we are using 8 bit format so we have to fill the magnitude bits the magnitude with 7 bits and we have to reserve one bit for the magnitude uh, the sign okay so here it is the sign bit 
which is 0, it means the number is positive. The magnitude bits are 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, which means 25, okay, the magnitude. Now, suppose we have to represent minus 25, okay, minus 25. So, only thing that will change is this 0 bit will change to 1. The magnitude bits, they will remain the same. So, we will copy the magnitude bit as it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. The sign bit here is 1, which means the number is negative. The magnitude bits is the same as above. Okay? So, here the sign bit is 1, so it means the number is the negative integer, minus 25. Here the sign bit is 0, so it is the positive integer, plus 25. So, always remember that. So, always the mag remember in sign magnitude system, 0 means the extreme left bit of that binary number, the MSB bit that is the sign bit. If it is 0, the number is positive. If it is 1, the number is negative. Magnitude bits undergo no change. The magnitude bits will be the same in the positive and the negative number. The third important thing is that whenever you come across any question, okay, always check in what system the given sign number is represented, whether it is represented using sign magnitude system, whether it is represented using 1s complement system or whether it is uh, represented using 2s complement system. So, that will play a major role in the binary representation because if someone is using 1s complement system, the representation will be different for negative numbers especially because the positive numbers are represented in the same way in uh, sign magnitude 1s and 2s complement, there will be no change, but the negative numbers, they will have different representations. We will discuss that in detail in 1s and 2s complement. So, always pay attention to the what system is used, okay, and what bit format is used, whether it is 4 bits or 8 bits, whatever the number of bits are used. So, those are the things that you have to take into consideration, okay. So, here we have uh, discussed um, with you the basic representation of sign numbers or negative numbers using sign magnitude system. Okay, So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.